Good afternoon, everyone. I hope all is doing well. I decided to do a quick video just to show um, to show you that you can kind of make your own images. I know it's real easy to just go out and pay a dollar or two dollars to buy an SVG for an image that you like. Um, but sometimes it's just easier to do it your own if you don't want to go through the whole situation of looking for it and buying it and downloading it. And sometimes I just like a challenge. I like to challenge myself learning new things and working with new things. So um, I saw where there's the shirt that everybody's wearing that has the savage on them. And it's just the red bar with the word savage written inside. Yeah, you can go and pay for uh, an SVG that's 99 cent, but then you can also do this yourself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here to my drawing tools on the left hand side and I'm going to draw a rectangle. So you just draw your rectangle. I'm not worried about the dimensions right now. So that's how big I want. All right. Now, in order for me to see it, I'm going to select my rectangle. Come over here to my fill panel on the right hand side and we're going to make it red. All right. So here's your rectangle. Now you go to, you can either select your font type over here on the left hand side, or you can go up to panels and you can go to textile. All right. Once you go to textile, I will look for, and my computer's kind of slow i don't know what happened for some odd reason whenever i updated my computer is just real slow maybe because it's an old computer um so i'm going to click on the font and i'm just going to type savage s a v a g e all right let me scoop that out of the way so i'm going to make it white so you can see it we're going to go over here to our field panel and i'm going to select white now i also need to all right so it's already in the front all right now i think i want to use impact or oh, we let we can go with rockwell it's kind of big all right so let me make the image i'm sorry make my word a little bit big i'm sorry moving my rectangle and it doesn't have to be exactly how it is but you can make it how you want so i guess i'll bring that up a little bit and it looks funny because the font doesn't match um and then i can shrink my rectangle a little bit all right so now if you just want to cut it out like that say if you're gonna put it on top of a white shirt then you can just um I'm sorry. No, I need to correct this. All right. So we're going to have these two together. You got your savage and you got your square. Now, if you're just going to just do the two separate uh, cuts itself, I'm sorry. You got your red um, rectangle. So you would cut your rectangle and your red vinyl, your red HTV, and then you will cut your savage and your red HTV. And then you would just layer them on top of each other when you're pressing them and leave it like that. Now, if you're going to make this on a white shirt and you don't need the Savage in white, you can select both of these. All right. Then I'm going to find my modify panel on the right side. And then we're going to subtract all. All right, when you subtract all, it's taken. Now, you see, you got your word savage still over here, but it subtracted savage from the red rectangle. So now you got your rectangle right here and you've got the word savage taken out of it. So that's if you're just going to place it on a solid black shirt or a solid white shirt and you don't want to worry about layering it you can just do it that way and this works with anything um i've done uh the god is dope like that i've done the bath and body works like that now mind you if it's anything that's trademark you kind of want to be 
careful with that. You definitely don't want to be recreating trademark images and trying to sell them. Um, but if you just want to do something for yourself at home, you know, this would be good. And then what I also do now, let me see if I can find it. If I want to see how it's going to look on a t-shirt, uh, let's see if I can find that shirt. I normally have, okay. Um, I got a white hoodie. All right. So I have, uh, images saved on my computer. Sometimes I just want to see what it's going to look like, um, once I make it. So I got this from a group that I'm in and I'm sorry, my, all right, there it is. So let me go back here. Um, cancel right click. I'm going to copy it, go back here to my white hoodie. And then I'm going to paste in front. Now let me make that a little bit smaller and try to keep my cursor on it and then just move it around to see what it would look like if I were to put it on a shirt or something like that. And I know I kind of need to move it around. It's not centered. Um, but that's what I do sometimes when I'm creating images and I want to see, okay, what would it look like on a, on this type of shirt or that type of shirt? I would just bring in one of my mock-up images into, uh, silhouette design studio and then just uh paste the image in front that way i can kind of see what would it look like you know if i want to change the color um i can click back on this savage go to my field panel i can make it black how would that look you know on a black shirt um make it purple make it this ugly shade of green <laughs> or you know make it back red again so your your options are limitless so try to push yourself and and if you think you can do something go ahead and try what's the worst you know you can mess up but it's a learning process that way you learn how to create your own images instead of um paying money a lot of times i see um i'm in several facebook groups and i see where there are things that are just typed out like uh won't he do it or, or God is great or, but God and people are saying, well, where'd you find that SVG? How much is it? Where it's just something as simple as typing. I know a lot of people don't like typing, but if you think about it for every image that you've paid a dollar or two or even $3 for, um, when you could have made it, that's money that you could have used to actually buy a t-shirt or to buy a hat or to buy a tote bag that you could have put it on. So it's just all about pushing yourself, motivating yourself and learning the software more. Don't be afraid. You can always delete and start over. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box. Thank you for watching my video. If you have not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and I will be doing another video shortly. Thank you.